This is about diagnostics. My sister was baptized recently, one of those full immersion jobs. She said it was great. She knows she was already baptized as a baby, but she thinks that was for her parents. This one, she said, was for me. It confirmed, refreshed, rejuvenated her faith, her spiritual being. I think she did feel, as they say, reborn. I think I have a spiritual being, but I've never known exactly what to do with it. There are certainly enough religions out there to choose from if you're looking for a place to land. There is Buddhism, Hindu, Muslim, or Muslim, if there's a difference, Shinto, is that a religion? Catholic, and all the Protestants, the Lutherans, the Presbyterians, the Baptists, the Mormons, Quakers, Jains, Seventh-day Adventists, Jehovah's Witnesses, they may be the same. It goes on and on, but none of them were a good fit for me. Confucius and Lao Tzu seemed to make some sense, but they were more about how to live your life, how to conduct yourself, than any form of worship. Then you've got deism or theism, like the Unitarians, a recognition that there is a God, but not much else in terms of prescription or terms of worship. At the other end is atheism. Atheists always seemed a bit boastful to me, filled with an excessive pride in their choice of no God and therefore no reverence. And in the middle of those polar opposites are the agnostics, the ones who are in a kind of spiritual holding pattern. They say they don't know if there's a God or not, there might be or maybe not. They seem too wishy-washy to me. I mean, pick a side, get in the game. I can certainly understand their position, and I sympathize with it, but in the end, it's just too half-baked for me. And in the midst of mulling this over, as you get older, you do more mulling, I had a thought. I thought I might be a diagnostic. A diagnostic is someone who is trying to cure an illness or to figure out what is going wrong, or maybe even doing something to fix it. A diagnostic, it seemed to me, was a little like the tribal medicine man. People are a bit mystified by him. He is definitely an odd duck. And there is every chance that he is a phony, shaking a rattle, muttering some mumbo-jumbo and burning incense, maybe hopping around and hoping that everybody will fall for this. But that's the show. There is the chance that the medicine man is for real. He knows what he's doing. He can cure some people, and he can also figure out what to do when everything is screwed up and going to hell. A real diagnostic has to be a pretty savvy individual, and that might be a stretch for me. I may be a student of the diagnostic. I think Plato was a diagnostic. He had his ideal forms. The existence in this world was a shadow of them, pale limitations. I think Francis Bacon, advancing the scientific method as a way of learning about the world, the way it works and what it is, was a diagnostic. Albert Einstein, in his thought experiments, the what-if approach, was a diagnostic. Mechanics are diagnostics. I think that good engineers, people who can run things, people who know how to build things and know how they work, they are diagnostics. People who really understand physics are diagnostics. I read about the periodic table. That's the result of diagnostic thinking, seeing patterns no one had seen before. The same holds true for classifications in biology. A diagnostic is, above all, an investigator, a private investigator, hence a private eye, usually working alone, always poking around into things, sometimes figuring them out, sometimes who done it, sometimes how or why. It's something to shoot for, and that's what I think I want to be, a diagnostic. They don't have formal baptismal ceremonies. All you do is jump in.